Hi, MRK here and welcome to top 10 editor preference settings that are useful or just cool. Number 10. Source code default editor change. Starting with number 10, we have an option to change the default code editor. I honestly dislike Visual Studio and change it to VS Code every time I open a new project. So it opens faster and usually I just want to see the source as fast as possible. Number 9. Different pin styles. Next we have a different style of pins, it defaults to a pointed circle, but you can actually change it to use circles, grids and diamonds, which I think is looking pretty cool. Number 8. Show comment bubble on zoom out. When you make a comment, shortcut C on selected nodes, uh, you can name it, but if you zoom out you can't see what you wrote. Uh, you can enable a comment bubble inside a comment details, but you can also change the default setting and make it always show it. Number 7. Draw midpoint arrows. Another aesthetic thing, but I think it's looking very, very nice. And in some case it might make the graph look more clear. Uh, like in the for each loop, where the spline goes backwards for a break. Number 6. Default to using pure cast. When you cast, it's always an impure cast, so it has execution nodes, but sometimes you don't need that, you just need the variable. Then it's nice to use a pure cast. If you like to cast a lot and you find yourself converting those casts to pure every time, this is an option for you. Just default to pure cast each time you cast. Number 5. Autocast object connections. Did you ever try to connect to objects only to find out you can't because you didn't cast before? Worry not, this option will cast for you, and if you enable previous option it will pure cast by default. Number 4. Allow explicit node disabling. This one gives you an option to disable the node from context menu without disconnecting it. Uh, if you just want to skip a node, but you would maybe want it there later, or you just want it for development, uh, this is an option for you. There are also shortcuts for this that are not enabled by default, and you can set them in key bindings category. Number 3. Open asset in main window. This is something I enable every time I start a new project. I just want to have my asset in the main window and drag it out when I need it. If you're like me, you'll love this one. Number 2. Show performance in top bar. Sometimes you need to check the performance of your game or just the editor, see what's the FPS, what's the memory usage. Uh, in game you can just do um, command stat FPS, but you can also have it always visible in the top bar of your editor. And ending with number one, we have the top dog opening animation assets new tab. This removes the annoying moments when you're working on an animation or animation montage and you just want to inspect other animation assets. And when you open it, it just overrides your tab and you have to look for it again. And that's no fun. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed and learned something new. See you next time. Bye.